Hey Michael with X-Force PC. Last week I did a video on why X-Plane X-Plane's frame rate drops so much as you add additional screens. And I'll link to that video in the video description. It goes into much more depth than I'm going to go into here because I've already done that. So essentially what it boils down to is we have, let's say we have 90 frames per second on this middle screen. When we add another screen, we're going to drop to like 60. When we drop, add another screen, we're going to drop to 30. And the reason for that is, is as you add additional screens, you've added additional work into the pipeline because the way these screens are drawn is essentially like in a pipeline, one after the other on the same thread. The same worker is being given additional work to do each frame. So when you add two more screens, you've tripled the amount of work that that worker has to do with regards to drawing additional screens. And essentially you've cut the frame rate by down to one third of what it once was. And again, every time you add a screen, you know, you lop off some more frame rate. And, you know, I told the developers or talked to Austin, was like, hey, you know, this stuff needs to be run on different threads, different cores. We've got a 24 core processor here, and we're only showing 9% processor utilization. That's because X-Plane essentially uses two cores, no matter how many screens you add. And so as a proof of concept, if nothing else to myself, I said, okay, I want to force X-Plane to use additional cores. How can I do that? How can I make these things run on separate cores, these additional screens? And I had the idea of, well, why don't I run three copies of X-Plane on the same computer? You run three separate programs, the computer is going to treat those as different threads and therefore spread the load out. So let's try that. Essentially, I duplicated X-Plane and I set up a network scenario. And I don't know if I said it a second ago, we're getting about 33 frames per second here in the middle, about 33. I know the focus probably isn't perfect and um, so on and so forth. And it's cold in here. That's why I got gloves on. Um, but let's get out of here. You see we're exiting one copy of X-Plane and let's launch three. Now, I've got the three icons here for my different uh, views of X-Plane, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch the entire process of me opening X-Plane three times. Okay, so we're back, and I've opened up three copies of X-Plane. Didn't make you sit there and watch that. And now we've got much higher processor utilization. We're at about 28%, which is about triple what we had before, what you would expect, right? We had about 9% before, now we've got 28%. And we've got, instead of two cores highly utilized, we have six cores highly utilized. And that's because, again, we're running three copies of X-Plane. Now we're also consuming a lot more RAM. We're at about 26 gigs of RAM. We were at about 10 or 11 gigs before. Now, um, the big question is, what's our frame rate? Did we get better frame rate with this? Well, could, is it possible that we could be launching the program three times, running it three times, and somehow get better frame rate? Is that even possible? And yes, it is. So here in the middle, we're getting a 75. We're getting 50, 60, 60 right now over here. And we're getting about 50 over here. So overall, we're getting about 60 frames per second. There's a little bit of variance here because of the communication between the multiple copies of X-Plane. But on average, we're getting about 60 frames per second, and we're getting 35 per four. Um, we've got triple the CPU utilization. Um, so this proof of concept, for lack of a better term, does show that if X-Plane were to somehow be able to spread this amongst multiple threads, that higher frame rates could be achieved, significantly higher. We're getting double the frame rate and we're having to run X-Plane three separate times. Now, I'm not recommending anybody does this. And if you do do this, you do it totally on your own. Please don't message me and ask me about how to do this. I will put a link to a forum post which roughly describes how to do this if you want to play with it. But keep in mind, there are lots of caveats. Obviously, you've got to launch X-Plane three times. You've got to have three copies of X-Plane on your hard drive. You've got to install the scenery three times, planes three times, so on and so forth. Um, you got to deal with controllers, only make only putting the controller on the middle one and not on the side ones. There's lots of caveats. But again, if you want to do this, it's totally on you. Um, again, I'll put the link in the video description. But again, what this shows is we can get higher frame rates if this stuff can be multi-threaded at some point. And hopefully it can be.